Black Friday weekend is coming up and let's face it, the sales last more than just a single day and I'm all in for saving some money. I'm also a big supporter of shopping and shopping on sale, but what I'm against is impulsive shopping. And that might seem like against the whole entire minimalism thing, but let me explain. Honestly, I wish I had a video like this that guided me how to navigate really great sales because I would go into the store and instead of buying just a single thing that I actually needed, I ended up buying the whole entire store. <sighs> my name is Liz Shiro and today I will introduce you to some of my tips on how to shop Black Friday. And here we go. <laughs> Shopping for useful things is absolutely amazing. And as a minimalist, that doesn't mean I don't shop. In fact, shopping for useful things that you will use that bring you purpose in your life is like the best thing ever. For example, a month ago you walked into a store and you saw this shirt and you really loved it. And then you went home, you didn't purchase it. And two, one week goes by, two weeks go by, a month go by and you're still thinking about that shirt then clearly that's an object that you love and you will wear because you're still thinking about it. Holding on purchases is a really great way to save some money and also don't bring in junk into your life. There have been so many occasions that happened to me where I would go shopping and I would purchase something. I used it once and then it just ended up sitting in the storage unit and I'm too guilty to throw it out or pass it on to somebody because I purchased it with my own money. So what I want you to avoid when you are shopping is buying something cute or something that you think might be useful but you're not quite sure how to fit that in into your life yet. Chances are those purchases will end up just lying around your house and you're never going to be using them and that's a waste. There's always exceptions. There's sometimes you buy something and you're like, wow, I didn't know I needed this. But most of the times in our houses, we used to only 20% of the stuff that we own, which is crazy. So here is a very straightforward guide on how to do Black Friday correctly. So number one, make a shopping list. Yes, that's correct you go grocery shopping with a shopping list, why don't you go into the store to buy some clothes without a shopping list, huh? When, when there are great deals and you've accumulated some ideas or some stuff that you wanted to purchase, when they're on sale, you will save money. If you're just gonna like go out and buy it just because, you're not going to save money. I will give you an example from my personal life. So for the longest time ever, I wanted to purchase this Lululemon fanny pack that I think is adorable and I think is going to be so functional in, in my life. I have a purse that you wear over the shoulder and it's like one of the fancier purses, but when I'm running errands, I want something like, I want my hands to be free. and when i saw that fanny pack one of my friends had it i thought it was the most functional thing ever for my life so something like that would go onto my list by the way i wanted that fanny pack for about six months now self-control on point <laughs> also i created a pdf for all of you in the description down below that you can access and it's basically like a shopping list for you to fill out and I really hope you find it useful because I've already where's my shopping list <laughs> I have a full-on strategy over here I printed it out and then I have the store the items and over here I'm going with my friend and we made like a list um, can't really tell because I wrote with a pencil but <laughs> basically uh, I made a list of all the stores that we're going to go to because we already know what we're going to purchase on a Black Friday. 
if you need a yellow top in your closet, then go online, go to your favorite stores online and research yellow top because online shopping has something that regular stores don't. They have filters. And basically you can filter out whatever you want. Uh, so for example, you need a yellow top with stripes. You type that in and the website will give you everything that is yellow top with stripes. And another really great thing about researching online is that all the stores are right there. So if you need uh, Lululemon, Banana Republic, Aritzia, I'm just thinking of different stores that might be in the mall. <laughs> you have them all right there on your website. So write down the style number of the items that are on the website and then go physically into the store to try those things on. Honestly, I really love online shopping, but for some people it could get really out of control and we don't want that. <laughs> Also, what's a really great thing about Black Friday sales is that you can get your Christmas shopping done. I encourage not to go into the stores and get inspired of what's in the stores and based on that you get gifts. Instead, I would consider the other person's interests and hobbies. If that person loves writing and journaling, get them a journal. If you're not sure what journal they would like, get them a gift card to a store you know they like, they like to buy um, journals from. I don't think buying Christmas presents on sale is wrong and in fact I think it's very smart because you are saving some of your money, but also when it comes to gifting, it's not about how expensive the gift is, it's more about the sign and the action of gifting a gift to somebody that you love. And I'm sure they will appreciate whatever you get them. So don't put too much stress on yourself regarding Christmas shopping, but also it's a great opportunity for you to buy some really cute PJs for your boyfriend or your family. So <laughs> the next thing that I encourage you to do is budget. And I think this is the most important step regarding Black Friday sales. If you're spending the money that you don't have, then I don't know what you're doing because you don't have those money. You don't have that money. And do you want to sit there and worry because you have all this debt? I honestly been in those shoes where I spent too much money that I didn't have. It was either my parents or the credit card. And I just felt so guilty. And if you've never done this, don't do it. It does not feel good. The next thing I encourage you to do is budget. And I think this is the most important step when it comes to navigating Black Friday sales. Spending somebody else's money that is not your own is very miserable because it, when you're in debt, you have this weight on your chest that is, is just horrible. And I've been in those shoes too where I spend money that I don't have and it's disappointing. And then you also have all this junk lying around your house that you don't use. You want to bring in the stuff into your life that will bring you purpose and there's nothing better than that. So now you've created a shopping list, you've done your research, you budgeted, and now it is shopping time. It could be scary or exciting. Comment down below what you're feeling about these Black Friday sales. Uh, you could bring a friend or a loved one who can be your accountability partner. Uh, so remember this list, stick to this list, and when you meet your friend say, hey, I have all these things to buy, uh, don't let me buy anything else. And when you like pick out something and you're like, oh, maybe I need this. And they're like, no, you don't need it. And that's a perfect opportunity to like practice self-control and practice impulse shopping. If you do see something that you really love and are excited by, write it down. C create a second shopping list and look at it a month later. And if you still 
have something on that list that you still want, go and get it, but don't buy it that day. Okay, so we came to the end and let's recap this video real quick. Number one, make a shopping list. Number two, do your research. Number three, budget. And number four, shop with a friend. This is it. Let me know down in this comment section down below which tip you found the most useful and what you're going to be purchasing and avoiding this Black Friday sale. And also please subscribe for more content about minimalism and slow living on this channel. Thank you so much for uh, watching and I hope you have a fantastic day. Bye.